Hey everybody, it is Kathy and Press. We are back for another tarot reading. And today we are working with our Geminis. Um, I have meditated, cleared my mind, got some things together. I missed you guys. And being that it is Gemini season, um, and we are definitely ending out Taurus season here shortly. So I definitely wanted to come by and make sure that we were getting our incense together, getting our energies together. We are going to start off today with our Archangel messages. Um, I know that it has been a lot going on with the most recent retrogrades. We've had a couple of um, eclipse came through, changing up the moon, changing up the space, realigning the planets. So you might have been very emotional and all over the place with new experiences lately. Um, just cleansing the cards again. I had a, another reading earlier that I had to do that was personal. Um, so we are going to get these messages off the ground. So without further ado, Gemini's, um, if you guys are returning, thank you for returning. Those of you that it is your very first time on my channel, definitely do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these messages so that we can get the messages out to more and more people. All right. Angels and ancestors, please connect to me and provide any messages and channeling energies for those who are watching and that have concerns. Um, this will be a generalized read, so some things may not apply to your specific situation. And if it does not, let it fly, but accept the things that do resonate. Um, you may also check out any other generalized readings that I have placed because they may not, they may resonate with you as well. Um, whether they may be in one of your um, alignment signs from your birth chart. So definitely take a look at that. All right, universes, ancestors, and angels, please come and speak to me. Provide me with the guided messages in which we need to see. This will be a generalized message for the month of May or for whenever you see it. Um, this will be generally from May the 24th up until June the 24th for you guys as to experiences that you are having. All right, so I did get a couple of cards that were kind of coming out in reversals, but I do not really like to read reversals. So I'm going to speak to you about both the reversal and the regular um, meaning of the message. So we did start off with you guys getting the justice card. Um, this is the number eight. And this is the Archangel Raguel. Um, and this is telling you to fight for justice, fight for equality. Um, there are some things that you guys may have been going to court behind, uh, may have had a lawyer involved in. Um, this may even be with criminal um, charges that you guys were facing. Um, but it's letting me know to tell you do not give up. Um, it's not over yet. Fat lady ain't sung yet. Um, there are going to be rulings that are going to be made in your favor. Um, and that means that whatever it is that you're facing, where there is judgment being placed or whether things just were not working out for you the way they should. Um, and it's almost as if you've been wronged. Um, I'm getting a feeling of a lot of pressure and being overwhelmed um, this may even include some financial situations. When I look at the cards on hand, um, you felt weighed down very much so by this situation. And so I'm wondering if maybe there are even children that are involved, like if there was some custody battle or something like that. Um, with this, it, it, it is still telling me that you, you guys are going to have rulings in your favor. So definitely please don't give up. Um, the number eight is a good number for me. I also, also re resonate that with infinity. Um, and then also with rounding up of things. Um, the number eight in numerology is a great set of numbers as well um, to kind of get you where you're trying to go and be able to see the things that you need to. So I'm going to just read this for you as well. Here we are. And 
Um, the number eight is a sign of power and strength. Um, this is the strength of your free will to, to keep pushing. Um, the main principle of this is mind over matter, which teaches how to effectively use the law of attraction um, when manifesting your desires. The number eight is confidence in, in having strength and the skills that, that you need, as well as the talents. It is also the ability to go out and be out there in the world and take what you desire. So this is saying that you have everything in your personal realm to be able to achieve all that you want, to be able to attack your goals. Um, your second card that you got was the world card, which is the number 21 that it is resonating with. And 211 equals 3. And so this is also telling you that there's a very happy ending coming. There may have been um, some third party energy that has been affecting this situation, this circumstance, you know, where they're rah-rah in the background, you know what I'm saying? Um, but everything is starting to come full circle. So all of the stuff that's happening, karma is paying its dues, baby. Um, you guys have also been going through a lot of very spiritual growth. And been receiving insight from upon high. So you may have been like watching a lot of tarot readings. You may have been meditating. Um, you may have been praying a lot. And even getting insight within your dreams. Which th that's a great thing. Connect to those things. Pay attention to the signs. Um, if you have a dream and you just like it's really crazy. And you just don't understand why that dream. And who, if that person that was in the dream. Why, they, why were you dreaming about them? Um, there may be something significant with that person. So I say every time you have a dream like that. There is a very great um, free Google dream dictionary that you can look into that will kind of go over those things. It's like an encyclopedia. So it's pretty dope. I'm um, with that. You guys also got the 10 of Michael. So all of the cards so far that you guys have been getting is like happy endings. The things, you know, coming to an end as far as the negativity that you may have been going through for the last two to three years or even maybe two to three months. Um, I'm feeling it's a, been a long, more long-term situation that's been happening. Um, but that bad situation um, or negative situation it has come to a complete end. Um, with you receiving the 10 of Michael, um, you are finally becoming free of all of your worries and doubts and your inner child problems that you've been harboring on into each life relationship, be it work, um, relationships, or friendships. But you are walking into new opportunities for happiness and um, you definitely are now in a place where all of the past things are moving behind you. And I know it's hard sometimes because there are things that will trigger you and push you right back into those thoughts of the past. But right back to speaking of, of that number eight that you guys received as far as manifesting in the law of attraction. Write down the things that you want. Let's not speak about the things or even think about the things that we don't want to happen. Let's think about what it is that we want. You know, hey, I want my rent to be paid on time. I want my bills to be taken care of. I want to be prosperous. I want my business to grow. I want me and my baby daddy to get along, <laughs> you know, um, to have a great relationship, for me to move forward with my personal relationship and them to move forward to their personal relationship. And I don't see these things as gender specific ever. So when I say baby daddy, that can be your, you know, stud baby daddy or your, you know, baby daddy, baby daddy. <laughs> um, Definitely even a long-term friendship or relationship that you felt like lately has not been sinking um, as normally and being able to communicate very well through that. So definitely look into the moving forward because like on this turn of Michael, our baby girl is taking her cursier. She is taking her final bow um, at the end of the stage, at the end of the show. Um, that means she's gone through drama. She's gone, she's gone through the world of trouble. There, but with these two swans here... Um, I feel like there's going to be some new people coming into your life. Um, swans to me speak up to new beginnings. Uh, they also are, you know, in a position where this third swan up here, if you look at it, you, and most of the time, you, I've never actually noticed that that was a swan. I thought it was angel wings all this time, but it's definitely a swan. Um, and this one is also bowing down as well. So there's been there's someone that's helping you guys get through this conflict that's been like the mediator 
through this. And the media is like, yep, taking my bow. We, we, we fixed it. We've got past the problem. Um, and this could even very well be your lawyer for that matter. Right? For those of you who are going through logistics um, and may, you know, may even be a lawsuit of some sort that you guys are about to win. Um, which is going to be really great. I, anytime you get a 10 to me, that is completion. Um, and then you guys also got the Queen of Raphael, um, which is speaking to the universe of being kind and having understanding and being able to give. Um, there's been some psychic intuitions that you guys have been having. So it, it, it's like things that have been rooting from your heart, your mental, um, right down to your womb. You, you're, you're feeling all over your body where, where this is something that's different. So definitely follow your heart. Um, there are a lot of information that you guys are going to be receiving. And there is a love of home and family right now. So home and family is very important to you guys in this current moment, in those bonding moments. With this Queen of Raphael, she is sitting in the middle of this oyster shell, or this shell, shall I say, and being risen up, up out of that water which is she she's being risen up, up out of those emotional turmoil look at how the water is all like crazy and hectic the waves are just like going every which way and direction but yet the water is calmer behind her where this angel is also standing in you know with a new crescent moon remember we just recently had a um eclipse a full lunar eclipse a couple of weeks ago and that brought back a lot of change and a lot of emotional um, healing. This is a time for you to grow past the things that have been holding you back. So definitely, you know, you're receiving a lot of trustworthy psychic information. Like I said, you're probably listening to multiple tarot readers um, at a time. And that's okay. You know, that's super great. I do want to get a little bit of clarity on kind of what's really happening with this situation and circumstance. So let me get these cards shuffled out. This is a really good read so far, you guys. Like, I'm super excited to see what you guys' comments are um, as to what, where this hits home for you. Um, and like I said, you know, there, there's... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at this. So, the, the sky is, like, all gleaming behind them. And, you know, you see that a lot of time during a sunset as well as the sunrise. So, with the things changing and then you've got these two dolphins popping up out of water there are financial blessings that are on the way um dude i've never really looked at that like that but that is really cool i like when i get to see new things in new readings um because it definitely makes me feel really good and you guys got a lot of blue and a lot of purple um so that's royalty and loyalty so maybe you make music or do art and somebody was like holding back your royalties. That is a lot of cards, but I think I'm going to take them anyway. Uh, give me two more cards, please, for our Geminis. So we can get a confirmation. And you guys will never believe what card just fell out and hit the floor. So, you guys got the justice again. <laughs> so there may be some Libra energy that is attached to this. There, you know, um, weighing out sins and forgiveness. You know, there's communications of this justice working itself out. Um, even on her shirt, there's like this equal sign. So there's equality coming about where you're no longer feeling like somebody's getting you're getting the short end of the stick. If that makes sense. Um, there is the page of swords, so there has been communication, which means you're probably learning to, to have a better communication style and to speak on things a little more calmly than just erupting and um, losing your shit, for lack of a better way to say that, it, you know. Um, you guys right behind that also received the Empress card. So as you've gone through this journey, you have grown. Like you are chilling at this point. You're in a place where you can sit back on your throne and really be happy. The Empress is like the know all tell all type of um card and it, it you know you're deep in your fem femininity you know she is the the woman of strength and um of perseverance she is really all about her feminine attributes so i mean like i said male or female i don't really resonate the cards to a gender specific but with 
you're, you're getting more in tune with your mother earth. You're getting in tune with your inner side um, and connecting to, to the universe and gaining these insights that you need to make your next moves. Um, you guys got right behind that um, the chariot card, which means you're, you know, you're being led. You're being led into a more positive direction. You're being led into this, this, this miracle of happiness. You're being led out of those negative impacting feelings that you guys are having. Um, with these two finkses that are here, you know, they, they can, they, they can come fastly. They can come slowly. Even here, we've got two crescent moons here, um, as well, which is better solidifying everything that's been going on with this read. So, like I said, you guys are leaving the past behind you. You are flying into the new direction, heading off, um, into a lot of greatness, uh, with the direction that you want your life to be. Um, she is still wearing her crown you know, and, and like I said, you guys are taking that final bow with that old situation and coming out of a lot of negativity and healing. You've healed your inner child. You're at a place now where you can experience life. You are no longer walking around with this nine of wands energy, you know, feeling as if you are in this battle alone. Um, and as if you have to stay guarded all the time, open your heart up, you know, open up your thoughts, think of things positively. Let's not always think of the negative things first. Let's think about what we have that is great, that is there to benefit us and help us and keep us going in the right direction. But you guys, that is going to be it um, for today. I definitely hope that this resonates in some way, shape, or form. Um, please definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, and share so that you guys can continue to get my messages as I post them. And then also... Um, Please leave me some comments so that I can kind of see where this resonates with who and how this is sitting out in situation and playing out in your life. I definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Again, I love you. I love you. I love you. And thank you, my babies, for being a part of my family. Be blessed out there. And until we speak again.